morning. I feel like I can breathe today. Oh my God, my skin is so dry. I quickly need to rectify this. It's actually screaming at me. I wanted to show you what I am using skincare wise um, on camera, but I also wanted to, to chat to you first and actually, no, I can't do that. My freshly cleansed skin is actually just screaming at me. Um, I'm using the Claire de Peau, Claire de Peau, Claire de Peau, the serum. It's so nice. It's really like super hydrating. It gives the most insane glow to the skin. Honestly, it just feels so good. Like, look at that glow. Oh. And now my skin has stopped screaming at me, which is amazing. Love that for me. Now I can actually chat to you. So I actually started this vlog yesterday. I've done a whole sit down that looks very much identical to this, but yesterday, wait, is my camera straight? I feel like you guys are on a wonk. It's really freaking me out. Yesterday was shoot day for the Vlogmas intro, which I'm hoping exists if you're not seeing a vlogmas intro it's because i didn't like it uh and that's going to be very sad but i won't know until later today so that's going to be weird because we're like however many vlogmas is in right now doing the filming and editing completely solo i had to start kind of a little bit early this year actually not as early as i would have thought given everything I don't know how I'm doing life right now, to be honest. I don't, I don't know, but I'm having fun. So that's the most important thing. And yesterday was really, really fun, but I kind of had to give it my full attention in the end. And I realized that I basically couldn't vlog and do a whole day of vlogging and do that shoot. And I actually wanted to open my post with you, which side note, this video will contain a paid for integrated partnership with Farfetch. As you guys know, I was a customer of theirs long before I started working with them and it literally was my dream come true this year they were my dream brand to work with and it's just been the most incredible year so thank you so much to the farfetch team and thank you to you guys for all of your support it's been a year it's been a great year but what was i saying yeah so i have some bits to unbox with you today they actually arrived yesterday and i wanted to show you everything yesterday unbox it all do the whole shebang and i spent way too long safety pinning the bottom of the jumpsuit that I was wearing for the shoot yesterday because I didn't have time to have it taken up and I really wanted to wear it for the shoot like I was just like yes this might be giving ABBA vibes which isn't necessarily the vibe I was going for but it looks so cool in all of the footage and I just really really wanted to wear it otherwise it would have been my house of CB jumpsuit which I love but not quite as festive so yeah i spent a long time safety pinning the bottom of that and by the time i'd finished i didn't have long enough to fully sit down and vlog with you guys and like actually have like a nice day with you because it just kind of all ran away with me so take two here we are we are looking super cool today what's going on okay i feel like that's a little bit better i was looking very blue so yeah day ran away with me but the shoot was so fun i just get really really nervous now whenever i'm doing a shoot like that like i used to do stuff like that all the time and it didn't phase me but now i get so nervous for it i feel so weird not shooting stuff myself and not being able to see what is being filmed not like knowing what the end result is going to look like hello bts behind the scenes yes yeah. what may be our vlogmas intro if it all goes well. If it all goes well. We're scared, George. We're nervous. Never done a vlogmas intro before. Have you not? No, I'm scared. There's a lot of pressure. Especially because everyone's so good. But I'm hoping that it's all okay. And it was just a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed it. And I felt really good when I was going to bed last night. I was like, yes, I feel very accomplished today. So I'm feeling good today. Feeling like I actually maybe have my shiz together, which is nice. Anyway, one of the things that I showed you guys yesterday was the Clé de Peau, the creme. I got sent this. This is why I was like showing you these yesterday i got sent them and i was really excited to try them out so i tried them out with you guys and the footage is probably never seeing the light of day but i tried this moisturizer and it actually looked like it wasn't real when i showed you guys yesterday in the footage it now like has had a little finger mark in it but honestly you took the little cap off and i was like that looks like i should be taking like another layer off it doesn't look real but um yeah i gave it a try and oh my god it literally it feels this is weird for someone who's dairy free to say but it feels like butter on your skin like it is honestly oh, it feels so nice i used this yesterday for my shoot my skin 
looked fab look at that that is so special like if you're looking to get someone like a ridiculously special skincare gift oh this is just stunning i think it's quite pricey so when i say like special skincare gift i mean really 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 special but oh my god so beautiful and it feels so nice and my skin looks great today so i don't think it's going to break me out which is amazing anyone remember the era when i could literally put like a drop of something new on my face and it would like blow up so grateful to not be in that era anymore thank you so much to skin and me could not recommend that enough gonna go for a little bit of spf because i don't know what time i'm leaving the house today it could be daylight could be dark um depends on depends on how i'm feeling ryan and i have a date night tonight which i am really looking forward to the ivy have invited us uh, down to taste their Christmas menu and drink some Christmas cocktails, which I am very much looking forward to. I love going to the Ivy any time of year, but Christmas is like so lovely there. Oh, that's why I look washed out. I always do that. I f when I'm doing like a montage or like a whatever, I'm just not filming me. I always flick the camera settings onto like a higher exposure and then wonder why I look like a ghost when I vlog myself. So yesterday's makeup was quite heavy duty because i was obviously shooting but i really liked it so i'm going to try and do like a lighter fresher version today maybe i'll do a lighter fresher version for the day and then i'll just very quickly give it a quick zhuzh before i go out we'll see we will see i'm using the charlotte tilbury magic foundation just because it was the one that was closest to me to be honest i used it yesterday um, and it's just the best for on camera makeup like i was so happy with my makeup it looked so good on camera it was very similar to my festive uh glam makeup that may have been my last video so i will link that if you haven't seen it um but i literally just switched out the bronzy eye product i was using i went for the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Amber Gold um, all over the lid. And then I used a little bit of, where is it? I used a little bit of the shade Jean, like on the inner corners. And then with the liner situation in the tutorial, I kind of leave it to just along my lash line. But with this, I like winged it out a little bit, just using like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. So it was quite a, not a precise wing like I would normally do. It, it was quite a big like soft over exaggerated wing and then it also brought antique gold along a little brush just underneath my eye and it was so beautiful this eyeshadow is really gorgeous like look at that so stunning and then loads and loads and loads of mascara which i haven't done i feel like in a while like the full fully fanned out lashes top and bottom and i really love that look so i'm going to do my usual makeup routine of like putting all of the contour and concealer and everything on my face all at once and then just blending it all in so i'm going to speed this up for that but i'll leave all the products that i use in the info box below for you guys <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. I mean, I will know by now. I will have known days ago whether you guys like it, but right now I don't. We've just been having the debate on what to call it. And I think I've got something in my eye. No, I think we're gonna have to go with something like really boring, like Vlogmas, <laughs> because there's just nothing cool. Like, I'm so jealous of like, Josie obviously lives in the Cotswolds. So just rolling with that. I don't have something cool like that. My name and my location do not work well with Vlogmas just isn't it's not the vibe all i could come up with was seasons with susan and i wanted to shrivel up and die so anyway i need to sort my hair out we are on last day hair people uh which is not ideal on date night but also i'm having my hair done on friday it is wednesday so i'm gonna be dragging my hair out 
for a couple of days. Um, if I look slightly questionable over the next 24 hours, mind your business. I gave up on my hair, so we're gonna just be a bit of a mess and do the hair flips today. And if there's a lot of faffing, I'm so sorry, but it is just not behaving. So I wanna show you some new things I've got recently. That's not everything. It was a big post day yesterday. Should I get started with the far fetch items? I kind of want to, even though they're at the bottom of the pile. I kind of want to start with the good stuff. Although really I should start with this because in here is a new vlogging camera. <laughs> I dropped this one on the floor. Well, actually it slid off my bedside table a couple of weeks ago and just haven't had the chance to get around to getting a new one. Argos came through for me, thank God. Just in terms of their stock, they didn't give me. I couldn't get one on Amazon for next day delivery for love nor money, but Argos, love them. Literally arrived at 10 o'clock last night, which is why I'm not using it yet, because I completely forgot, because I was half asleep. But anyway, anyway. We are going to unbox some Farfetch items. This is the Paypal Integrated Apertorial with Farfetch. I love Farfetch. I was buying from them, like I said earlier, long before I started working with them. They have the best stock. Like, they use boutiques from all around the world, so their stock is just the best. They have stuff that you can't get anywhere else, and I, that is, like, the main thing that attracted me to Farfetch was their stock was so much funner. Like, they do all sorts of luxury goods, and they have a really good range as well. So it ranges from um, more kind of, like, like mid-range items like you have brands like Reformation, Sandro, Marge, they have Good American. There's so many lovely brands that aren't like the extreme level of luxury but then they also have really gorgeous luxury pieces as well. They always have the best shoe selection that you can't get anywhere else and because they use boutiques all around the world you can generally get your size which is amazing because normally my size is just never in stock. Yeah I love them so much and like I said in my last vlog I am trying to just like purchase a little bit more mindfully. There's certain like um, aspects of my shopping habits which I am deciding to cut out. So like no more huge like orders, late night shopping, all of that kind of thing. Like just like really considering my purchases, um, all of that good stuff. Um, but if you are a step ahead of me in terms of um, your sustainability practices with fashion, they have a positively conscious section on their website as well, which is fab. For me, this order, is mostly placed for lots of things that I felt were missing in my wardrobe. If you haven't seen one of my most recent vlogs, actually it would have been a few vlogs back now because this is Vlogmas, but um, yeah, I did a big like wardrobe declutter and kind of reorganized and just gave everything a zhuzh and also t really took stock of what was in my wardrobe and what I felt was really missing. And there was something that I felt was missing, which I think is actually in that vlog, which is a white shirt. I knew that I needed like a really nice new white shirt. Um, my old one was just uh, really loved. I'd had it for a long time. The fit wasn't quite right on me anymore. I'd had it since before we went into lockdown. But then there were also some items that I love and wear all the time, but they are starting to look a little bit worse for wear now so i decided to pick up a replacement and not just any replacement like a really beautiful quality replacement um, from a brand that i am so excited to try out because i have heard such good things about the quality of their knitwear so i'm very excited for this but yeah i'm not going to talk too much more i'm just going to show you the stuff so i feel like i really teased you where is the opening on this? I feel like I really teased you with the knitwear. Unfortunately, that's not what's in this box. Ooh, that's bad. It's fun. Okay, so first up, we picked up a new white shirt. As I said previously, I was on the hunt for a gorgeous new oversized white shirt. Um, I got this from a new... It's really nice. Like, it's quite thick. This is a great winter shirt, I think. I got it in a size small. And it is oversized, so I'm really intrigued to see if this is a good fit for me. If not, I might get the extra small, but I thought I'd go with the small because I do like a nice big oversized shirt. And then I also picked up these from Adina Bing. I was really intrigued. Like I'm, on, I'm fully on the hunt for the perfect pair of leather trousers at the moment, or like faux leather trousers. Um, I feel like these are faux leather trousers oh yeah this garment is made from high quality vegan leather fabby i think these are going to fit really well i'm excited to try them on these could be a very big contender for what i am wearing for date night tonight oh my god i also need to show you something that i have already unboxed 
Be right back. So this arrived before everything else. I'm obsessed. So I actually made a big mistake. I owned uh, a really gorgeous coat uh, last year and I put it on my Depop. I was trying to make more space in my coat wardrobe and I really did not think it through. And I've been missing it so much the past couple of months that I decided to pick up a new one. This is from Stan Studio. It is gorgeous. I've actually taken the label out, but I all of my clothes have these in. I always get asked about it. People are like, why do you do that? I'm like, I just pull the tag off and forget to cut the actual thing off later on. I'm really lazy and my brain just gets really sidetracked with the other things. Like trying to keep me on a one track is very, very, very difficult. This is gorgeous. Like I've never felt like a faux fur coat like this. It is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a keeper forever never getting overzealous with this one on depop oh it's so lovely it's very like oversized but really gorgeous really cozy i absolutely love it and the color is just stunning i feel like a little polar bear in this it's so nice i absolutely love it i am not taking this off this winter so that is the coat i picked up i got it in a size small i think it's very oversized so you could definitely if you just wanted more of a regular fit you could definitely take a size down in that but oh my god it's just i can't even tell you i wish like touch vision was a thing so i could like hold it out to you so you could feel it it's literally the softest thing i've ever known in my life and it's just such a beautiful tone as well i'm obsessed i think it's a really nice one for like evenings out as well like if you're going for a dinner and you're wearing like a little dress underneath or just like any kind of glitzy dress i think this time of year a faux fur works really nicely with because it kind of gives that like i want to say like 20s kind of glam look big big fan of this i love it i love it i might wear this for dinner later if the leather trousers work out that could actually work kind of nicely it's so warm it's very very thick like the quality of this is insane it's just stunning i'm going on a little winter staycation soon and this is 100 percent coming with me yeah super happy with that honestly it's just like the softest best thing i own oh wow this one comes with like the whole bag and everything love that i got a piece of knitwear from totem i've never had a piece of knitwear from them before and all I hear is people raving about their knitwear. So I really wanted to try it out. There's no better way to test out a brand than by picking up a classic. This feels so nice. I wear black roll necks all the time in the winter. The past couple of years, I've been obsessed with a couple of oversized slouchy ones and they have been through the wash so many times they're not really holding up as best i'd hoped i'm doing my best to take care of them as best i can and like you know pick the bobbles off and stuff like that but they're just not looking fantastic so i wanted like at least one black knit that was just really gorgeous and almost like your kind of like best of version you know you've got like some that you'll wear around the house and just like you know do your housework in and then i've got the ones that i wear up for brunches and you know stuff like that so I have been so excited to try this on. I got this in a size small, I believe. Let me double check that. I really wasn't sure on sizing. It's so difficult when you try a new brand for the first time. Yeah, a size small. It's a cashmere blend wool cashmere turtleneck. Right up my street. Ooh. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, the length is so good. Ooh, it's so it's so lovely like so lovely and this is gonna keep me so warm because of the material and the neck isn't too high either this is great actually normally the necks are a bit crazy on me i don't have a very long neck in, in fact i would say i have quite a short neck and that becomes quite problematic when you've got like roll necks that literally want to then come up to here because i don't have a long neck and then all of my foundation is rubbing all over the gaff so yeah this is like my perfect roll neck neck height oh my god it's actually yes i like this height it's quite flattering as well sometimes i find if it comes up too high it's almost not doing me any favors but this is really nice it's like a full rolled over roll neck but without being too crazy it is beautiful yes we're gonna try the leather trousers and the shirt next okay so this is the anina bing shirt in the small it is very 
oversized and i'd love to know what you think do you think i should exchange it and get an extra small just because i'm looking at the back and it is quite billowy what do we think or is that the vibe i kind of like it i really like um how structured the shirt is like i've unbuttoned quite a few of the buttons as you can probably tell and it's just really retaining this like shape like the collar is still popped i really like that so as a shirt overall i think it's amazing like especially for this time of year this is the perfect white winter shirt i think because it has a real dip hem at the back it's kind of just not ideal for me as a five foot two girly so maybe i do need to size down to compensate for that what do we think but overall in terms of a winter shirt this is incredible like, i love how structured it is it feels amazing like i don't feel cold in this at all and my house does not have the heating on right now so this is a good sign love the shirt might just get it in an extra small but i'm interested to see what you guys think like do you think it just looks cool oversized oh, and then we have the trousers which i want to show you but without the shirt on because i feel like you need to see the trousers in full because they're gorge let's go with a crop shirt so you can really like see the waistline on it like it fits so well around the waist this is rare like i always feel like i try things on and they never fit properly around the waist so it's really nice in terms of like the shape so they give more space on the thighs and i just love that like that is the kind of cut that i want in any like trouser on the bottom because normally if it fits around the waist i'm like suffocating on the thigh but it's so nice and like roomy here but not too like you still get a butt it's not too roomy we still got shape here it's flattering but it's good around the waist but it's not tight on the thigh like that is just the perfect combination yeah i love them this has been a very successful little order we have one more thing which was it necessary no am i so excited about this yeah you guys need to let me know what you think of these i have to say never did i ever think that i would be a shoe girly i have always been i would say for my entire 20s decade that decade i have been such a bag girly never have i ever thought that i would be a shoe girly but something's really switched since i hit 30 basically probably not two related factors at all but i don't know i find that interesting i'm gonna need scissors two seconds oh my god that box is so pretty wow wow i thought they were stunning and i don't have anything like them they are stunning look at that heel look at that heel i have no words i have no words <laughs> like how gorgeous is that i'm gonna need to try these on with a dress and show them to you because i feel like you don't really get the full effect when i'm wearing trousers but oh my god they're stunning okay you guys you need to tell me the truth what do we think they're so beautiful but i would love to get your opinion do we think that i should keep them okay so this is going to be my little outfit of the day today i'm so happy with these trousers they fit so so nicely and this jumper is incredible these have to be like this these two in the coat the standouts of my farfetch purchases this month i am obsessed with them do you know what? i'm not obsessed with my hair today i think i think it might be a bun day after all you guys because it is getting a bit out of hand now we may have to like full-on ponytail this situation which i'm a bit sad about because i really wanted to look cute for dinner but i'm just not sure it's gonna happen yeah let me know on the shirt and the shoes you guys because they're obviously like big purchases i want to make sure i'm making the right decision so let me know in the comments what you think but anyway, we need to crack on now and unbox the rest of my post. Number one being this. Cannot wait to be in focus for you guys. To be honest, you guys probably won't have noticed too much because I try and edit out the majority of uh, the moments where the camera goes out of focus. But once the focus goes on this, it's a nightmare and it will do like the facial recognition thing, but it won't fully focus. Or if it does do the facial recognition thing, the second I turn away, it starts going out of focus as soon as it loses my face, which was happening so much with the Christmas 
new year dresses video so so much it was very annoying hopefully you guys didn't notice or it didn't inconvenience you too much but yeah it was time for a new one sadly this is the longest one has lasted me in years i think this has been like a nine month situation maybe that's wrong and it's actually only been like two months but i feel like i've had this current one for a really long time we've been besties for a long time anyway new one yay be good for this evening because it's terrible in low light right now so i'm so excited because my new planner arrived now if you listen to the podcast uh, I actually think I need to post on stories about this because I think I forgot to say um, what planner I use when I talked about it in the podcast. But I use the Carrie Co. Perfectly Planned Planner and every year they do like a different limited edition, limited edition design. Uh, this is the design for 2023. I will show you the 2022 design when I can find my planner because I can't. It's probably under a pile of clothes right now. So these planners are just gorgeous and i oh that's so pretty oh it's so nice um they have like a full january february march may kind of little tab thing along the side each uh, month has like a month in review and then at the start ooh, at the start of the month you have your like goals and top line to do list thingies and then you have like a grid uh, which you can use for anything sometimes if i'm really struggling I'll use it for meal plans or for video plans. It depends on how full my calendar gets, but I use it for various different things. Sometimes just literally like top line, like must remember people's birthdays. I'll go through and like jot them in, slot them in, dot them in. I don't even know what word that was meant to be. Um, at the beginning of the year, I'll just go through and quickly like put things down. And then like when I get to that month, it kind of refreshes my memory. But then every day you have well, actually, at the start of the week, you have... Where is it? Start of the week, you have a weekly planner as well. So it works kind of similarly to if you were to lay out a bullet journal, which is what I love because I love the idea of a bullet journal and you, like, carry over things that you didn't do the day before and stuff like that. I find that really good for my brain. I never forget to do things, but I never feel the pressure to do, like, the 600 things that are on my list. However, actually implementing and carrying out a full bullet journal to the standard that I would like it to be carried out to is not feasible for me. I love the idea of it, but I don't have the time, but this is kind of laid out similarly to how I always wanted my bullet journal to be laid out anyway. So it has like a top three to do's for the day. And I find just like literally focusing on like a top three, they're quite repetitive for me, but that's fine. That is fine. Workout, vlog, edit seems to be like the current thing so i actually like structure my day it's hour by hour i literally will put in even like things like have lunch because i forget to do that and then i actually use the make a note section to fully just like write every single to do item not like silly things but like you know payroll email these people like all of those like tiny little to do's they go in here um, and they'll normally be filed under like admin or whatever and then i'll block in a time bit for admin and that seems to be the best way for me to structure my days and it's worked really really well this year like I have never felt so on top of things whilst also feeling so incredibly overwhelmed but still so on top of everything and I honestly put it down to this planner I could not live without it it literally it comes on holiday with me which is slightly terrifying but um yeah I love like the month in review section at the end and the fresh month like planning and goals section at the beginning they also have year overviews and quarterly plans as well which i am very rarely organized enough to do those things but they're nice if you can there's also like money goals marketing goals so if you are self-employed this is quite a nice one yeah they're just lovely planners i adore mine this is my second year of having one yeah super cute so really excited that that has arrived and then we have something for nala i can reach it over the pile of boxes this is actually my second time ordering this because i got the um size wrong the first time it was just slightly ever so slightly off this one is much bigger but that's fab because i just i want her to have room in this I got, you're not even gonna be able to see, I need to adjust these straps. We are going on a little staycation this month and it's a slightly different type of staycation. You'll see why. And I just wanted to be able to have the option to have Nala with us if we are like going out and about to dog friendly places. We decided to get her a little carry thingy. 
this was so cute i actually went with a different color way i ordered this the first time in a different color and actually just didn't love it i tried it on with a few of my outfits and i didn't love it so i decided to get this cute little like tartan one which i just think looks so cozy and it's like a nice classic as well um but yeah we've got this little carry pose i hope she's gonna like it will she lay down in it probably not but i wanted to get her like a size that she could fully like splay out in just because i want to know that she is nice and comfy she's like always on high alert so even when you hold her in your arms she likes to sit up i feel like she will probably still sit up in this but we're gonna try it oh shrimpy look what i've got you Can you me Oh, you're doing there. We're gonna have to practice this a little bit, I think. I'm glad that it has one of the clips though, so that she uh, can't jump out because otherwise, I don't think this would be a very good option for her. We've got a yawn, so I feel like that's good. Oh, you're just too cute. You're so cute. Do you like being close to me? I feel like she's actually going to really like this. She loves being carried places, like absolutely detests walking anywhere. You're gonna love this. Trust me. It actually has a lot more room in there than she really needs, but in terms of like her legs are so long. Um, so she kind of needs more space to be able to like fully lie down in there. Oh, it's gonna be so cute, you guys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I look like the little, what is the girl in the Grinch? I look like her. Cindy Lou, that's her. Cindy Lou. Makes a nice change to feeling like I look like the Grinch, but you know. Four o'clock, wallow in self pity. Five thirty, jazz size. Six thirty, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Anyway, that's really loud. Come on. It's literally been so quiet, and then I start vlogging, and there's like trucks outside. Um, this morning. There's a reason that I look like Cindy Lou. That is because it is hair day. It was actually hair wash day two days ago. I think I might have said. But yeah, it's finally the day that I get a little cut and colour refresh. So uh, Carla, my hairdresser, is going to have so much fun with this. I'm about to change out of my grubby little sweats, get some clothes on, go get my hair done. Also run a whole load of boring errands. And I am going to be back with you looking somewhat more presentable. Hopefully. Or maybe I'll see you at the hairdressers. Let's go get this sorted. She is brunette. Finally. Guess who got caught in the rain as soon as she left the hairdressers? Literally blue sky and then suddenly, it, well it wasn't anymore obviously. Yeah, we've just had a little hair refresh. We've actually dragged some of my colour that we popped higher up down. Um, kind of further into the rest of my hair. We normally keep like this top color just to my roots, but we've dragged it down a little bit, um, but still keeping the slightly lighter ends. Still adding to that overall brunette vibe, which I was so desperate to do after the summer. And then my mum is coming over, so I need to like express, clean my kitchen, because I always host people in the kitchen. It's the easiest place to like give a quick zhuzh. Uh, and I mean very very quick like it's the easiest room to make look presentable fast And then I think we might be going to the cinema and out for dinner tonight Which I'm really excited about also just feeling very bougie because it's a two dinners out kind of week But I'm really up for it basically we're meant to see all of my family tonight because it's my dad's birthday But he very sadly is very unwell so what a miserable way to spend your birthday He actually has like banned me from the house like he's that unwell he's like you not allowed to come over so i'm not being a crap daughter or anything he's actually told me he doesn't want to see me <laughs> rude we are gonna go maybe to the cinema and get some dinner instead which i'm kind of looking forward to because we weren't gonna get to do this until like the week after next because we're so busy so this will be kind of nice but yeah for now tidy kitchen see mum upload vlogmas oh my god i need to not forget to do that i'm uploading vlogmas one today and I'm really happy that you're all loving the intro so far. I put it out on shorts and on a reel and on stories and you guys have been so nice and I'm just really, really loving it.
little outfit of the evening. We're gonna go out for, are we going, we're going, well, I can't Honest speak. Burger. We're going to Honest Burger, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. I have been craving Honest Burger all week. I'm eating out a lot this week. I. Wow, me and Alana have just been talking about dinner tomorrow. Also, you guys, Alana is in the country. She's made it. I'm so fussing. We're going to go for dinner just at the hotel where she's staying. Dinner is really on my brain at the moment, but I've been really craving Honest Burger. So I'm super excited for that. And we're also going to see the menu. So we're having a really food oriented evening. Food and then a weird psychological thriller top tier Friday night for me. And I am wearing my totem jumper, which I've been wearing all day. I am I'm a big fan of this jumper. Trying not to overuse the word obsessed, but you know, you know. And then I'm wearing the snuggliest coat in the world. Again, big, big fan. And then we've got my little body that I wear a lot. I've also got a random thermal layer underneath this jumper and then Matagis. Um, it's just so cold at the moment. The thermals are definitely needed. That's me. Thank you. Okay, so who agrees with me? Cranberry sauce should just be in everything. Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. No. Yes or no? No! <gasps> what? You don't like cranberry sauce? I like it, I should be. What? Ah, oh, cranberry sauce in everything. Literally, it will be. Yeah! Team cranberry sauce, yes or no? I need to show you the snacks. Are you ready? And then, are you going to play? Jamie, what happened? Chocolate orange reindeer. I think they're new. Nice. So you got to wear the sauce. And you've got popcorn. Oh, and you've got fruit pastel. A Ryan special. <laughs> See you in a bit. Update on the film. So we went and saw the menu. I really loved it. Did you really love it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think if you liked like Gone Girl you would really like it it's kind of like one of those films that's a little bit weird and it is definitely not realistic and some of it doesn't always make total sense but I love that kind of film it's a little bit like my mum actually pointed this out just from watching the trailer um, when she was around earlier she was like oh this is giving me like nine perfect strangers vibes she hasn't seen the TV ignore the TV show because the TV show wasn't as good as the book but she's read the book um and we both loved it and she was like oh it's giving me nine perfect strangers and i was like yes yes mum yes mummy b that's a very good like comparison and having seen it i would say that it's quite a good comparison like one of those things that just doesn't like it all connects but you're still like interesting loved it had a great evening our burgers were amazing had the christmas vegan burger at, um Honest Burger, it's delish. Had a botanical cocktail, loved that. What did you have? Did you have the bacon burger? Yeah, bacon plant. Mm, nice. Um, oh, so good, so, so good. Always love an Honest Burger. We are going to go home now. I have got some editing to do, and then I need to be up early to get ready for London go and see Alana which I am so excited for um so yeah I'm probably gonna leave this vlog here but I will see wow we're going over some real bumps <laughs> sorry if this is really shaky um I've never known that this road was this bumpy <laughs> I will see you guys again in my next vlog love you bye do you want to tell them you love them love you bye love you bye <laughs>